you would not believe what adding surround and height does for a sample. It's what you've always dreamed of. So the whole process is about choosing the, the best microphones uh, in the best possible recording room. Because this is, uh, this is everything, everything that I would want in a tool. The end result is amazing. It's great. It sounds really, really good. We just did a sample library that is as devastating an experience as any I've had in my life. When we discussed to record the Spirit 3 library, uh, we had some names floating around, and one of those were uh, George Massenberg. So I sent him an email and just asked him if he wanted to be on a project with us, not saying anything about what it was. And he answered immediately, uh, asking, yeah, sure, if it's superior, I would love to work on a superior product. So uh, yeah, here we are at the Galaxy Studio recording with George. So. <laughs> So I was introduced to Superior Drummer by Chuck Ainley. When Matthias asked me to consider uh, doing a, a, a library, I immediately said yes, and then he said, and maybe we do it in surround, and I said, uh, wow, yes. Of course, this is more than just a Superior product. This is actually the core library for Superior 3. We had all worked at Galaxy. And so we knew Galaxy as a, a place that had all the right ingredients. It had a beautiful studio, an incredible studio, that itself was, is adjustable. You know, we can um, make it just the right ambience and still have this great diffusion in the large room. So it's, uh, it's the perfect environment, the perfect recording environment for recording drums and especially for sampling drums because it's um, uh, sampling drums you have to go very 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 low in volume for the for the different strokes and art articulations that you're going to record and for that it's really important that the room is very quiet and that you don't get disturbed by anything. Galaxy Studio is perfect for that because they actually separated all the rooms um, which means that it's super quiet in between. When we got together to talk about the drums is when I got really excited because that's, that was my favorite kit that we started with, was the old Gretsch round badge. And, uh, and that was my go-to kit for live sessions. So it really was a, an old friend, and that we could get that here was, you know, that, 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 there were no negatives. No negatives about recording in Europe, and no negatives about accessibility to uh, instruments, musicians, or technology. You know, I can't really decide on if a drum is good by looking at a list. So, but hearing it in the studio, I can definitely decide, and it's, it's great drums. So, of course, you know, the surround picking up the room, uh, we have a uh, kind of a mature idea of how to pick up drums. We are, um, we've got a sense of how to keep the kick and snare dead center. I mean, it has to rock, it has to rock. It, you have to feel that punch. What Ed Cherney says, has to fill the speakers, George. You know, feel that punch. And so we have a, a, a great sense of keeping that center image in time, keep it aligned. Kick, snare, solid. Of course, it should be many drums, many different drums, and many different tones we, we wanted to capture. So we really uh, made sure that we capture different types of woods, which give a certain sound, a very specific and unique sound. We're trying to do a big variety of kits, uh, you know, everything from, from the old vintage stuff to new modern stuff, uh, open sound, tighter sounds, uh, brushes, felt mallets, sticks, no snares, plastics, rods, you know, you name it, you know, all kinds of cymbals, rides. So the whole process is about choosing the, the best microphones uh, in the best possible recording room and I think we found it. Uh, using the best gear, you know, uh, preamps, um, miking techniques of course, 
really be detailed about the alignment of, of miking and the placing of miking. And who could be better for such a job as an engineer as George Massenburg? I mean, he's, he's, he's the god of this whole technology. So we've got a very responsive Tom mics, this new technique of taking double microphones under the snare uh, to get a great sense of diffusion in the snare without having a hard floor. And we, uh, we add surround to that and it's just a huge sound. It's a huge sound. Or if you need it smaller, you take mics out. But you don't have to reach for it. It's right there, it's huge. We've had sampling sessions that went like 10 hours, 12 hours. Um, it's been a challenge, but it's a lot of fun to, to do that. And that's what we do. I mean, we, we try to capture everything really with a great love of detail in everything we do. What we uh, were shooting for was to sit in a control room and have the world in front of us, have the world of this beautiful room uh, with these great drums right in front of us when we close our eyes. We record uh, from the softest of hits to the hardest of hits and all the velocities in between and all the layers and all the velocities and all that and different sorts of hits on different drums. For example, a snare has in center hits and it has uh, far out on the snare and in the mid center and, and the side stick and the rim shot and the rim only and the, you know and, and more than that so it's, it's just uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it was a great feeling and a, and a very uh, unique feeling actually to to sit behind the drum set and record those sounds and and do all the hits and and listen to it in in a drummer's perspective and walk out of the studio and get into the control room and. Uh, have, still have the, the sound of that, uh, of that dramatic room in, in your head and come into the control room and hear exactly the same sound captured on tape or on, on Pro Tools, of course. We're hoping that Superior Drummer 3 will be the embodiment of this expanded feature set, but it all leads to this. You're in your right brain creating music. Your right brain is all about spatial relationships. It's all about being immersed in the process. What you want to do is, when, you're, when your right brain says, uh, punchier drums, George, make the drums punchier. You don't want to have to go through a lot of bullshit to patch something in and, and, uh, and uh, call a friend. Your hand wants to fall on a control for ambience and you bring it up and it fits into this picture in your right brain. Superior 3 is going to be amazing. And uh, these sounds in particular that are actually recorded for Superior 3 with more articulations and, and other things in mind. Uh, it's going to be such a thrill to work with and I cannot wait to do that. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. You can use this library for anything from metal to even jazz or, or very quiet uh, stuff or acoustic pop stuff, standard pop rock productions, anything. I mean, this core library really, really is everything you need. Listening to samples this good inspires you to write music for them, to use to write music that expands, you know, the use of space and dynamics and in new ways. This inspires a whole new kind of music.